Hello guys, uh, welcome to Refer UX. Myself Nimesh. Today, let's see how to connect to CentOS 7 using SSH keys. Secure Shell or SSH is a cryptographic network design protocol which is designed for a secure connection uh, between client and a server. As we know, there are most popular two SSH authentication mechanisms which are password-based authentication and public key-based authentication. Using SSH keys uh, is generally more secure and convenient than traditional password-based authentication. In this tutorial, we ex I explain how to generate SSH keys on SSH Android 7 system and I'll show how to set up SSH-based authentication and connect uh, of a remote uh, Windows machine uh, into a CentOS without entering any password. So let's begin. First, I will uh, open uh, the terminal of my server. Then uh, I will uh, create a, a public private key pair uh, using this uh, command ssh minus key uh, generation. Minus T, and I'm creating RSA key pair. Uh, this uh, right click. They ask for the uh, default uh, location. I said yes, and they ask him for the uh, paraphrase for the uh, safeguard the uh, private key. So I say no, uh, no again, and you will be immediately create RSA key of 2048 bits. Then uh, I will change the uh, the location the the uh, the uh, the folder where these uh, keys are residing uh, i'll give the uh, give the uh, authority of 700 uh, that is uh, full privilege of the user uh, to the uh, this folder ssh where these keys are residing and um, then again i need to uh, i will uh, rename the public key into authorized key that is a SSH, uh, the uh, IDRSA dot pub into I will be creating as SSH, uh, SSH authorized authorized uh, underscore a by s. So uh, here, authorized R I S A U T H O R I Z I D. And let me check the, the relevant. Uh, yes. And uh, I can enter. Okay, no errors. Then uh, I will uh, change the modif change modification and you want, uh, the privileges to 600 to this authorized key name file. So what I'm going to do is uh, ch mod 600. SSH and uh, now if you list the uh, files in this folder, you can see that uh, authorized key is the public key and IDRC is a private key. Now we are going to uh, use this private key uh, to the uh, server. So that's a Windows machine. The client client can authenticate him uh, to the server using its private uh, private key. So that's the whole idea. And then what I'm going to do is uh, using gedit facility, I will. Uh, I will read the uh, content of the uh, uh, private key and uh, then I will uh, copy the content right click copy and cut and I go to be my client machine I will uh, create a folder let's say uh, keys and uh, I will create a Word uh, text document, I went and paste. I uh, save this clause. Then I'll, uh, uh, before that, I want to uh, enable uh, uh, the, uh, uh, is it? I want to uh, 
online search options show uh, avant view extensions here so uh, i'm going to is i will uh, untick here apply okay now we can see the extension now i'll name it as id rsa uh, make it simple id rsa then the extension would be dem all right the private key extension on the uh, uh normally uh, in private uh, asymmetric key infrastructure then what i'm going to do is i will go to uh, uh google and uh, web browser and uh, go to putty and uh, then i'll download two facilities one is the putty and the other one is putty uh gen to do create the uh, private key of putty version then i'll open the folder and i get control and i select them i'll cut them and i'll go to the uh, folder where my uh, private key is residing then i'm using the putty gen to generate uh, the private key convert the private key into the putty version and uh, it takes some time because uh, it asks the uh, uh, permission sometimes uh, the putty gen all right i run then i load uh, the uh, file here i go to uh, desktop then i go to keys then i make it all files then i select this open so it is successfully loaded and now i select the rsa then save the and no by press yes and uh, i'll name it as my private key all right my private key and save and you can see there's a, a new free key called my private key dot ppk and i close this then i run the uh, putty and uh, it also asking uh, some uh, i think take a couple of seconds uh, to load and because it's running yes uh, run. and now uh, before that i'll go to my server again i will uh, open up a tab uh, and i'll check uh, if config i can see my ip is uh, 207 so i write so now it's still i haven't in, in, in initiated the certificate so what i'm going to do is i will i will uh type the ip 192.168.176 and uh, 176.176. 206 here sorry 207 so uh, and if i ask to oh yes and i ask to uh, give the username student and if i give the password it is successfully logging using the uh username password so what i'm going to do with well certificate based logging so that i will go to server then what i'm going to do is i will uh so, uh, I will change my mode to sudo su and uh, right then I'll gedit uh, slash etc slash sshd ssh sshd uh, config then um, I'll uh, uh, enable the line numbers then I'll go to 60 45 line number then you can see sorry 65 then you can see password authentication that i it is yes that is why it was access to password authentication i will make it no then i save this and i uh, close then i uh, restart the uh, sshd SSD. and i restart successfully now again i will go to putty and uh, i will uh, run this thing then uh, i'll try to log in as 192.168.176.0.7 and yes and if i give 
they say this message no support of the authentication method because now password authentication is not uh, supported then i will go again go to this and um, type the ip and then i'll go to uh, ssh and author auth and uh, then i'll uh, browse for my key that is my private key under keys folder and open and open then if i give my student wow it logged using my private key which just means using successfully without giving any password i have successfully logging to the uh, server so this is how you enable SSH based authentication or logging in CentOS. In this tutorial, we demonstrated how to connect to CentOS 7 using SSH keys. I hope you have learned something out of this. If you learn something, please do like and share. If you want to know about future such videos, please do subscribe to us till we meet again have a great time